Hey guys, I'm Luke Nosek. I'm chairman of Halcyon Molecular, and uh, I'm decided to take the opportunity to teach you all about something that I have absolutely no qualifications whatsoever on, since I'm actually an internet guy. Um, started a fairly well-known internet company, but I've been in the biotech industry for the last three years, and that's how do you start your own synthetic biology startup? So the, there, there are three things, um, very broadly speaking. Number one, this is a huge field, and you should pick a big mission. You should pick something very, very big to do. The companies that are going to be started now could be like the Apple of this industry, right? And Apple's heading on them being a trillion dollar company these days. Um, second thing is build the right culture, pick the right people. And the third thing is uh, drop out and do it right now. And, uh, <laughs> but there's caveats to all of those. The first one, of course, the bigger mission. And, and, and it's, um, you know, what's reminding me about this, there's going to be so many trials and tribulations that you will go through and to convince everybody to join, to, to actually do it, um, you might as well try to do the biggest thing. Don't try to cure one disease, try to cure all disease. You know, don't try to go um, do something for one country, try to do something that's gonna be for the entire world. And, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be part of several, um, several teams right now that have um, very grand ambitions in, the, uh, in this area. Halcyon Molecular uh, is certainly one of those, but there are a few others, um, and it's, you know, it, it's incredibly important to keep your team motivated and, and to actually do something big. Um, the, second, uh, the second thing that's important is to pick the right people, and I'll go into a little bit of detail on this. Um, you actually, you have to pick not only the best people you've ever worked with, people that you, will, you would literally trust your lives with because you're gonna be marrying these people, but you have to pick an interdisciplinary team because synthetic biology is an area that's just coming together and there are, you're gonna have to be bringing in computer scientists, you're gonna have to be bringing in biologists, you're gonna be bringing in chemists, you know, a team I'm working with right now, um, they are training every single person on the team, it's about 12 people, in the other field. So we have electrical engineers, we have computer scientists, we have molecular biologists, we have chemists, um, we've got physics guys, they're all cross-training each other. And I, actually, I'm missing a lecture right now on integrated circuit design, and I can skip that because I'm a computer engineer, but tomorrow's again at chemistry and I better go. Um, so every single team member is cross-training each other. So bringing people from other fields and having them be able to teach each other and be able to talk to each other is very important. And the last one, um, and this may not be for you because it you know, depends on what you're doing. If you're pursuing an academic career, that could be a different thing. But if you want to build a company, um, then if I'm, say, an investor um, and thinking about it, then I better believe that that company is worth more than your degree. I better believe that it's worth more than anything. I better believe you're trying to build the next Apple or the next Google. And if you don't believe that, then you won't get my support. And it limits your, your ability. It may not be that, that that may not be the thing. You may want to do a smaller project. Um, you may not want to do. You may want to do something else. You may want to pursue an academic career. But if you want to build a startup company, then find an idea that's big enough that it captivates you and, and those around you enough that you're willing to do it right now. So that's how to build a uh, biotech company uh, uh, in synthetic biology from uh, you know my uh, short experiences in three years. And thank you very much. Look forward to hanging out here.